when you're at the track. What, what is your positive distraction when you're away from the track? Do you, do you go out on the ocean? Do you Sim go... racing. <laughs> Sim racing. So more driving. Yeah, uh, because it keeps me, you know, just ready to go. I, because you, I'm spending a lot of time also then on the setup and diff is, I'm not racing a Formula One car on the simulator, but it's like GT cars. So it's also a different technique of driving. So I just keep testing myself and especially, you know, these sim drivers, they're so quick. You know, they, they, it's very interesting to see them drive because they have no real experience of a car. But somehow when you look at how they're braking, how they're going through, it, it is how it should be. So it's very uh, interesting for me, you know, to then compare myself to them because they're naturally quick on the sim. I'm naturally quick in real life. And then for me, that's another motivation because I know whatever, you know, I, I'm confident that when I jump in a real car, I'll be quick. But on the simulator, these guys are the benchmark and I have to push myself to that limit. So I like to, to just test myself and, and improve myself to also learn from them. So my downtime, downtime, I'm still trying to improve myself, which I think also helps me in real life. When you're on the simulator, are, are you driving a Grand Prix car? Or are you, are you GT dri cars. So GTs, yeah, so, so they're better on sims. So even like LMP2 cars, whatever, yeah. yeah. And you have your own team or you're part of a team. Yeah. What is the team called? Is uh, team Redline. So we have a lot of drivers and, you know, they, they're also there. We had a, an amazing year. We've won basically almost everything within, you know, the sim racing community. So that was also a lot of fun to be part of because I was having a good time on track, of course, winning in Formula One, but also sharing these moments with them and actually also sometimes being part of the lineup winning these races, you know, it's just amazing because it's the same, you know, you're also pushing flat out, you need to take it seriously, you really need to, you know, work together to make it happen because also there you can change a lot of things on the setup and then it's all about preparation, strategy as well because when you're doing a 24-hour race around the Nordschleife, Life, uh, it's... It's quite tough. It's crazy, yeah, David, when it, you hear them talking I, about sim. I know, I don't like me, driving a sim. I me, can't me do too. a lap without dizzy. crashing. <laughs> you get dizzy? I, I get dizzy. And he is so involved and so motivated to <clears throat> be the same as he is on, for Formula One. He's on the sim. Well, even during the F1 weekends, uh, when I jump out of my car, I would be on Discord, like texting the guy, hey guys, like, how is it going if they would have a race or like keep me updated with set up things, ideas to try, all these kind of things. Yeah. So this is your positive distraction when yes. you go there. One thing I'm really curious is, you know, and you said it there, you know when you jump in the real car, you can drive it to its limit. You've, through what you've explained there, acknowledged that some of the simulator drivers are maybe a little bit quicker than you or better than you I, for whatever reason. It takes reason. me a little bit longer to, to be really competitive, that's for sure. So how does that psychologically work for you? Because on one hand, you're there as a professional Grand Prix driver, owning the moment, knowing you're, you're the quickest guy out there. On the other hand, you're looking at these professional sim racers and having to go, God, I'm letting the team down because it's taking me longer to get up to speed. Yeah, but then I'm, I, I'm still confident that I'll get to, to that point, but I just need to work a little bit harder for it. But that's also a nice motivation and a, a nice thing to do. You know, I, like, I need to put in a few more hours to, to be competitive. And, uh, and then I'm like, well, anyway, if the race is starting, we'll get the other teams anyway. A few uh, more hours. A few more hours. Well, I tell... 40 hours of yes, preparation I for a 24-hour yeah. race. I think it's a 40, kind 50, of... 40, 50... It's 40, 50 hours of preparation before... Because I want to win it, whatever I do. I want to go to not to look like an idiot. So when I'm on the simulator, I'm also flat out. So there's the thing, again, the realisation. I'm so used to being the idiot that uh, I've, I've just not pushed myself <laughs> hard enough in life. <laughs> It is fascinating. So, look, if we, if we get a bit more into the season-specific highs and lows, 